What is going on Neon Nation? I have a quick update for you guys and a super exciting one at that as CDPR revealed that they're releasing yet another patch for Cyberpunk 2077 with patch 2.2. This is four years after the game has launched and despite them repeatedly saying for a few patches now that that patch was going to be the last. So let's go over everything you need to know about 2.2 and get you up to speed in just a few minutes. In the stream, CDPR announced that they partnered with Virtuous Studios in Paris for patch 2.2 on this update. Now, CDPR wanted a cohesive thought behind this patch, similar to the ones that they released for Edge Runners and the Ultimate version. Pretty early on, they decided that they wanted players to be able to express themselves more, and the patch was aptly named Express Yourself. This is a big underlying concept of the cyberpunk genre, and from what I've seen, it's been the most requested feature that I've seen online in comments, social media, or wherever you can find people talking about cyberpunk. So CDPR chose four of the biggest car manufacturers like Quadra, Mizutani, I'll have them up on screen for you guys. And now you'll be able to customize these vehicles with custom colors. So you can optimize your style with different shades. You can change the saturation and hue of the color as well, helping you get a little bit more granular. By opening up the menu, you'll be able to use the color wheel to choose and you can even change smaller details like the color of your lights. In the lore, this is tied to the Crystal Coat tech and Rayfield, the creator of the Crystal Coat, has partnered with other manufacturers to incorporate this tech into their vehicles. Corpo is working together just warms my heart. It's truly a Christmas miracle. Now the Twin Tone option is another very very cool option that allows you to scan another car in Night City and add that color to your own car. It's a database based on the new updates to your Hiroshis where you can look around, scan a color, and apply it to your database, and then apply it to your car. You can change the color as you're being chased by the police, helping you avoid the heat a little bit longer. Now applying a new paint job is only for player cars, not stolen cars, so make sure that you try and use this on your personal vehicles. CDPR also had a lot of feedback for cars in the city that you could see but couldn't buy. So the auto fixer is adding 10 new cars, 8 of which belong to the base game, and 2 of which belong to Phantom Liberty. These are highly requested models like the Cheyenne Targa, and you'll be able to see cars that support the crystal coat and twin tone options with the little icon in the auto fixer. Johnny can also spawn next to you in the car and will have unique reactions. He can spawn in the front and the back, just don't give him the GPS or the aux cable. The team decided to do this to help increase Johnny's presence throughout the story, which is a small but welcome addition. Now Johnny won't spawn in combat or if there's another NPC already in the car, and he will spawn only around 25% of the time. You can also use photo mode with Johnny so you can get some great shots with the convertibles. Speaking of photo mode, it's also receiving updates. The Virtuous team did a lot of work to improve the camera drone mode with increased distance, range, and capabilities of taking shots. For example, you'll now be able to disable collision to get the angles and shots that you want, eliminating frustrating moments for virtual photographers. You can also use different aspect ratios in photo mode, making it effortless to post to social media with all their different sizing requirements. This part of the update is PC only, so do keep that in mind. There are also three new lights in photo mode, some being ambient and some being more precise options like a spotlight, and you can adjust these lights with a few different sliders including hue, saturation, luminance, and a few more unique options. With photo mode, you can also spawn up to three NPCs, and they have some notable characters like the Uscrax, Nibbles, and Adam Smasher. Don't you just love the way that Sasko says the Uscrax? In, in our game, we had the character of the Uscrax, and by the way, we can now uh, actually add the Uscrax also in a photo mode and take pictures with them. Depth of field is now an additional option, and the UI has also been reworked, helping to make it more user-friendly and accessible. A very cool feature is that you can show off your shots in your own personal gallery, and you can display your shots in your apartment, and this extends to Dogtown Apartments as well. New tech called Smart Frames by Kuroshi is the in-game lore rationale behind this update. Moving on to the character creator, we have 100 new assets, including new hair, new cyberware, new nails, 30 new eyes, and a lot more. Again, I'll put this on screen for you guys. I personally really love the new eyes that they showcased in the stream. Faceplates have always been popular among modders, so the game is going to give you some unique options here that fall in line with the four distinct visual styles in Cyberpunk. CD Projekt Red also infused more brands within the character creator, including different tattoos, cyberware, and eye options featuring luxury clothing brands and mega corporations. There's also a new randomizer using a plain to punk sliding scale. You can lock features of your face that you like through the randomizer. A bullet hole scar in the middle of your forehead was mentioned by Pablo Sasco as one of his favorite options, and there are two new custom body tattoos, one being based off of the scabs, and one being a Sandevistan spine tattoo, although I'm sure that there's more options here as well. 
There's a lot of hidden content as per usual in patch 2.2 and CDPR even hinted at a surprise in the future. So when can you download patch 2.2? Well actually you can download it right now. The patch went live right after the stream concluded, so go check it out. Hope that got you guys all up to speed and for more Cyberpunk make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you guys in the next one.